Happy first day of Halloween, everybody. And then you're just going to cut it into four little slices, or five, excuse me, no, yes, five, <laughs> excuse me, of course, the two ends, and then the two middles, and you can always cut the middle one to be kind of like a half. Okay, and then you're just going to take your chocolate chips, and this is so easy. You're just going to stick the chocolate chip in to make two little eyes like so and then you're just gonna stick one in the middle to make it have a little scared face <gasps> and you can obviously do this with a bigger banana too but i like to make them small so that you can make a bunch of them and then everybody can have one so now you're just going to continue to do that And here's your finished product. These two kind of ended up a little sloppy, but these two ended up really good. <gasps> and they're great little party flavors. They can also just be thumbs, too. You can just put red dots on them and make them thumbs. But that's how you make the Halloween bananas that I usually make. Okay, so usually what I do after this is I put them all in a little jar and I kind of try to space them out as best as I can. And usually I make more, so I usually have a big hand and I put them in the freezer overnight so they kind of freeze up a little bit and that way they're just colder and easier to you know um, handle so I'm going to pop these in the refrigerator. Our next project that we're going to make is a really fun one and this is mostly just decorating to be honest um, but you're going to kind of make little pretzels to look like little tiny pumpkins and it's going to be really cute so here we go. What you're going to need is pretzels. I'm going to use four pretzels chocolate chips and icing this is the fun part the decorating part now these are this is a kids project that basically is just to have the kids have something to do and something fun and they can decorate their own pumpkin so if it doesn't turn out like a pumpkin don't worry about it it's just supposed to be fun and half the time you don't even sometimes i haven't even used like orange icing i've just used red icing to make kind of like an orange pumpkin so i'll make one of those just to show you guys what is happening Okay, so you're basically just going to take your orange icing and make sure, oh, I am out of orange icing, so I'm going to use red icing. <laughs> so basically what you're going to do, and this is a little weird because my icing is kind of like cloggy, so I had to like kind of scoop it out, but you're just going to fill the little holes and cover it in icing. So that it looks all filled in and it's all mixed and you can use orange I'm gonna use red apparently I'm gonna make blood pumpkins <laughs> and again this isn't for like Halloween party this is just kind of like a fun kids thing so so fill it like that sort of 
and um, this icing is really not working with me. So, yeah. <laughs> it normally works so much better, but I usually have fresh icing, and I do not have fresh icing. So, this one's actually turning out okay. The first one did not. The first one's a little packed. That's okay. Because you all know there's going to be that one kid that fills it packed and is trying to get as much icing <laughs> into one as you can, you know. So. Okay. So you kind of fill it like that one, basically. And then you just put little one like that and during the apple season that's like an apple or you can make it into like a little ghost like a scary face oh scary face <laughs> um or when it's orange icing you make it into a little pumpkin and usually what i do is stick like a little bit of frosting on the corner and put like a little thing like that all right, we got two more guys. So this is our final project. We got our scary ghost um bananas in our scary face um pretzels i think they turned out really cute and either way this is just kind of a fun little activity that you can do with like kids to pass the time or just if you want a little snack or if you just want to be creative at a halloween party so if you guys enjoyed give this a thumbs up and we will see you guys really really soon hi guys i'm sammy and this is the scaring my cat with little objects game. This is a Halloween treat for the first day of Halloween. Shh, just right there. Here we go. <laughs> Did it get you? Got you. <laughs> Ta-da! Happy Halloween. I got a ghost. Boo, pumpkin, pumpkin, boo, boo, and I also added pez dispensers. I don't know if you guys saw, like, you probably obviously saw the vlog for today, but the vlog was called Scaring Simmy Day 1192. But we did a remix called Jump Scare Remix Stop It. Right here, jump scare remix. And look at this. It is 33 views, 32 comments, and 14 likes so far. I'm so impressed. Jump scare remix. Stop it. You should definitely go and check it out and share it with your friends and your family and everybody because Andrew really wants this to go viral. And I would really like it if it went viral too, but like, you know. I'm just like not trying to set my ho hopes high, but like he won't, he's like, oh, this is gonna go viral. So it, it, you guys can help it by sharing it and liking it and watching it and watching it and commenting and telling us if you like it or not. So please share it and like it and um, definitely tell us what you thought. It's called Jump Scare Remix Stop It. You can find it on our channel. It's the video right before Scaring Simi Day 1192, before the vlog. So definitely check it out because I think it was so funny. A couple of things. I want to talk to you guys a little bit. So for the month of October, I always do Halloween scary movies, Halloween, Halloween movies for the month of October. And um, so what I want to do is I made a chart from day one to day 31 um and it's all blank except for the one that we did today which is the crooked man from massacre those are the two movies i watched today uh for our start of halloween so you guys will get the chart early on my similar than maybe 
Facebook page, you will get the chart early and it will be written there what two movies I'm going to watch. So I want you guys to go on the page and look up the date and then look what two movies and watch them along with us. Then you can watch me give my review on it and you guys in the comments can have a conversation about these scary movies and really talk about these scary movies as we go along. So you guys will be able to do that and you guys will be able to follow every single day and see two movies on there. I usually do two. Um, I do look kind of try to like a cheesy-ish one and then a scarier one on them. And so I'm going to be doing that and updating it every single day. It should, I think I'm going to pin it at the top of the page so you guys can always see it. And it will be edited so that the new one will be on there. But I'm going to put the movies um, that we're going to do for that day up in the morning on the chart. And then at night talk about them. So you have all day basically to watch those two movies or just one of them if you want to. You can just pick one so that you guys can watch along with us and it'll be really fun and you guys don't have to worry it's not always going to be scary movies um make sure that if you're younger you have your parents permission to watch the movies and if you don't watch the like lesser scary movie of it um but um i'm also going to be adding in like halloween town halloween town 2 halloween town 3 hocus pocus nightmare before christmas um Bride of Frankenstein, um, Frank and Weenie, some Disney movies will be in there too. Sweeney Todd is one of them and that is definitely a rated R movie, it's also a musical, so um, just don't watch it if you don't have permission. But anyways, you can follow all the little lists on my Facebook page and that'll be on there. I hope you guys liked the brand new banner that's above. You can definitely check it out. It's got little pumpkins and it's kind of cute. And we're going to be taking the Halloween picture for our actual like profile picture on our Facebook page and on our YouTube page um, pretty soon. And then I'll be taking one for my Facebook and just take one for his Facebook and our Twitters as well. And probably our Instagrams as well too. Also check out our Instagrams because we're going to be posting a bunch of cool stuff, cool creations and things like that. And we're also going to be posting a really cute picture of Kiwi in her little outfits. She's got two outfits now, so I'm really excited to try them both on her. And we're going to try to get Jack an outfit this year, but we will see. It might just have to be a hat. I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed our treat today. And another little bonus that we're going to do, which you can also do if you, like, cannot watch scary movies because you're just not a fan or you get too scared or you're not allowed to, you should definitely check out I mean, the Disney ones I think you could probably watch. But if you can't, that's totally fine. Um, I think Sweeney Todd is actually on right now. It is. Sweeney Todd is on the TV right now. It's not funny that just by like the background noise I can tell. Anyways, um, I'm also going to be watching The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror um, movies every single night until I hit them all, until the new one comes out in um, October, I think is when it's going to come out. So you guys can do that along with me too if you're a fan of The Simpsons.